Okay, our pepper bed, vegetable bed, still has a lot of assorted things. Um, the lettuce that Groundhog friend came and ate, some of it's coming back, but it looks like it's about to go to seed. Totally fine. Um, that I believe is a cabbage that I put up here that I don't know if it's ever going to get to cabbage, but it's trying. I planted a ton of radishes, and I think our crazy spring weather where it being 80 and then dropping down to um, as low as 14 degrees within the scope of a couple days made all of them bolt basically I've, I've got almost no radishes but so be it we'll try again in the fall um so this little pepper starting to looks like it might be struggling a little bit it's got some flowers but also some looking kind of sad um and that's a paprika I think largely what I have in here are pimento and paprika. And I think I have, um, I might have one or two purple peppers. And you see there's a lot happening here. I do have steaks out. Sorry for the car noise there. It's a lot happening. Um, so I got some carrots. And I don't know if, I keep checking them, they're just not very big. So even the couple carrots I got might not be doing anything. This is a black strawberry um, cherry tomato. I'm putting on its first little flowers. That's exciting. I did put in several bean plants here to climb the trellis. You can see I've got one that's doing its thing, and that is a Blauhilda, I believe, which is a purple potted bean. Um, this one mistook an onion for the trellis, so I'll have to come and unwind that. And um, let's see. The one that's next to it, if you can caught there, sorry. Um, this is a Chinese red noodle bean, and the bugs must really love the noodle bean plants because between the squirrels digging that one up and the bugs, like, I just cannot get them to catch. I'm gonna have to keep trying, I think. Um, but, you know, we've got these guys, so I'll hold it down. And then. There's the other black strawberry. Starting to put on some flowers. I'll come around back here, show you, because that's where I'm putting put all my celery, and I am growing them quite close together. But um, you can see, this is where the squirrels love to dig. This is their favorite place. So they've already dug up a ton of plants and killed them. So I'm just, I'm, I'm overcompensating. This celery has been in, I want to say I overwintered that. Um, so maybe it will start to be sizable enough. It is definitely a lot bigger than its brethren. All right. And uh, let's look at the uh, mint. I think you can look at, uh, I guess this is going to be elderberry hill. Maybe it's strawberry hill because the strawberries are kind of taking it over. I just got a lot going on here. That is a dahlia that I planted. I've got two varieties. Planted four tubers and three out of four came up. Um, and then my dog popped off <laughs> the growing tip there. I wasn't sure if it was coming back, but you can see it's putting on a new spike there. Um, surface berry growing nicely, as is its friend over there. The ones across the street are fruiting. I wish we were at that stage, but we're not. And you can see the strawberries are just kind of taken off, taken over. They are starting to be at the end of their fruiting though. I have gotten actually quite a bit off of them this year. You can see I bagged them. Very technical difficulty there. Um, and then these guys back here, those are huckleberries. I don't know that we're going to get anything off of those there. Just keep getting eaten up. Um, but yeah, strawberries are starting to finish up here. And the elderberry did have a lot of flowers. But I don't know if it's going to make any fruit. Like it doesn't, looks like all the flowers just dropped. I don't see any fruits that happening. But, you know, this is its first year in the ground, so maybe it just needs some time to settle in. We'll give it that. Um, but here's the other dahlia. Got a 
hollyhock trying to come back from last year. And then I did plant my little wild tomatoes here. Um, that is a fall gold raspberry. I'm pretty sure it's dead. I was hoping that these were maybe like sprouts that came off the root, but I'm pretty sure those are dewberries from the other side of the fence. But invariably, um, get blight and don't make any fruit, so I'll probably cut those down in a bit. Um, more tomatoes. These are little wild tomatoes from my neighbor's yard. And this is, oh, that's a blackberry, thornless blackberry, and I am totally forgetting the variety right now. Oh well, uh, tomato. The bee balm is coming in, but it's got some mildew. I think because it's just all too close over here. I cut a couple stems out. Um, I might take some up front to transfer it. Looks like it's about to bloom now. Making some flowers. And oregano, and then I'll stop there.